Hi, it's Robin Bless, Senior Minister at Wakanda Christian Church, here for your Wednesday wake up. I've been sitting with this one for a while. Um, our last couple weeks, we've been spending a lot of time talking about God, um, getting closer to God, and getting curious about God. Um, and part of me thinks that that has all been some preparation for where we find ourselves right now. Recently, we've had a lot of talk in our communities and our nation about loosening or maintaining our social distancing measures. Arguments that our economy will not be able to recover if we don't open back up. But also the statements that our healthcare system won't be able to handle the great need if we do. I don't know the right path. I'm just a local church pastor who is trying to love my people as we try to love our community. But what I do know is if we continue to pit our economy versus our health care for our community, I feel like we're all going to lose. I keep thinking about this quote, this idea, this prayer, however you want to phrase it, by uh, Teresa of Avila, where she says, Christ has no body now but yours. No hands but yours. Yours are the hands through which Christ blesses the whole world. Well, I know we've told our high schoolers they can't go to school, they can't go to prom, our graduates can't have a graduation, yet we've deemed a lot of these high schoolers essential workers as they are stocking our shelves and checking out our groceries. I'm grateful that they can do this and that hopefully it still enables them to save up money for college or whatever is coming next. I know that as the teenage boy who checked, it, checked me out at the grocery store, wiped down that belt between every single person for our safety, for our needs. And then as he handed me the receipt, his hands were just caked with the residue of that cleaning product. These are the hands that we're asking to serve us. These are the hands that we're asking to be Christ for us. And so, no, I, I don't have the economic or healthcare magic ball to know how long or what measures we need to do. But I can't help but think if we are ready to go out into the world, this is our question. How are we using our hands to be the blessing of Christ in this world? How are we asking other hands to bless us? I know when this illness is already disproportionately affecting the vulnerable, the least of these in our society, the ones whom Jesus said, I am there to serve and be with. When the elderly, the single parents, the working families who are just scraping by and are now having to file unemployment, our black and brown siblings, everyone who already lives in a precarious, dangerous, and difficult position is being made more vulnerable 
in this time. And as we ask families to stay safe at home, the awareness that there are hands and words making families and homes unsafe as well. So there is no shortage of difficulty, but my prayer and my hope for today is that we sit with St. Teresa's prayer, that there is no body for Christ in this world than yours. There are no hands but yours. And so as we sit together, saying this prayer together, may we also then decide together how we can go out and share the blessing of Christ in this world. Whether that's staying home, whether that's going out, or somewhere in between. But together, we are the hands through which Christ blesses the world. It is a humbling, challenging, awesome, and amazing request. I join you in this prayer.